Hi, my name is Coldbeer and let's take a look at the best RPG games similar to Baldur's Gate that are on Steam Summer Sale right now. Let's start with the Dungeon of Nolbuck, the Amulet of Chaos. This is a humoristic approach to the serious RPG genre. Here you'll find exciting battles with creative support mechanics between team members and an adaptive difficulty system. From an accessible and fun story mode with simplified combat to the nightmare mode where the smallest tactical errors will doom ya. Here you'll also encounter more than 100 enemies and epic boss battles. I don't know, all of this sounds kinda fun, not every game must have a serious story. Sometimes we all need to relax and this game might be just it. Solasta, Crown of the Magister. Ye will take control of four heroes, each with unique skills that complement one another. Every hero express themselves in the adventure, making each action and dialogue choice a dynamic part of a story. Although if you are expecting a dialogue worthy of Lord of the Rings narrative, aim a bit lower, somewhere where Hobbit is. Also, here you will create your heroes just as you would in a pen and paper game, choosing your race, class and personality. Sadly, the size slider of your Ding Dong is not available and that is a huge flaw for this game. Some say the only only flaw, because the game has very positive reviews on Steam and was very warmly met by the fans of the genre. Colony Ship Hundreds of years ago, a spaceship with 50,000 colonists was sent from Earth to colonize Proxima Centauri. You, as one of the colonists, will never feel the sun under a blue sky, never hear the wind in the branches of a tree, never swim in the ocean, never drink vodka in Lithuania or Zhivets beer in Poland, and never taste the incredible rotten canned herring in Sweden. Well, maybe it's not a big loss with the latter, to be fair. And all this happened because you had the misfortune to be born in the ship to a fate you didn't choose. You have never seen Earth and you will never see Proxima Centauri either. You're doomed to live and die on the ship in the name of the mission, like your father before you, like his father before him. So in Colony Ship you will find a skill-based character system with feats and biological implants. Also you can choose from 12 recruitable party members with different personalities, agendas and beliefs. Pillars of Eternity Game came to life after an unbelievably successful Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, which raised more than 4 million dollars. That's roughly about what Bill Gates earns every 6 hours and roughly about the sum you could save in about 600 years if you put away about 600 dollars every month. Yeah, a material for your depression to spike up, but don't be sad, instead become a hero in Pillows of Eternity and save people from scary phenomena known as Hollowborn. People here are being born with a soul, and that is a huge problem in this world somehow. I guess, because if you have no soul, you can't sell it to the devil and earn some nice shiny stuff. When I was a little boy, about 8 years old, I tried to sell my soul to Satan because I needed a new gaming console. I painted a pentagram under the rug, lit some candles and tried to make a bargain. Sadly, Satan decided to not take this deal and instead of a new gaming console, I got chewing gum with Donald Duck stickers for Christmas. Well, to be fair, for me that was almost as good as a console. We, kids born in Soviet Union, had a really low bar of joy, that's for sure. Anyway, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2 are great games and it would be a shame if you ignored them. Geneforge 1 – Mutagen this is a unique, truly open-ended fantasy adventure set in a strange new world. You are one of the shapers, wizard with the awesome power to create life. And I'm not talking about sexy time without pulling out in time, no. Yeah, if you want a tool, a trap, an army, you summon it into existence, you create mighty beasts and they totally obey you, usually. Or not. At least that's how it's supposed to be. You have been stranded on a forbidden island full of powerful lost secrets of your people. Invaders are also here, trying to steal and master your knowledge. So you raise them for the awesome treasures hidden here and destroy the thieves. Or join them, you know, it's an RPG, be whatever you want to be, nobody will judge. Divinity Original Sin 2 While crowdfunded games like Pillars of Eternity have tried to recreate the designs of the 90 classics, Original Sin 2 feels like an answer to the question what if people never stopped making this kind of RPGs? And this is obviously one of the best RPG games ever created. Overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam can confirm that with ease. If you have a friend you can play co-op mode, but since you don't have one, your mother-in-law can do just fine. Give her gifts such as gold, daggers, shields and potions of love, so she would always stand by your side when you have an argument with your wife, make your life better through gaming. 
Tower of Time. This is a story-rich dungeon crawler with innovative real-time combat that lets you pause or slow time. And here you have to turn on your brain if you want to succeed. And I mean it, every battle is specially designed to be a tactical puzzle, so it might be a bit challenging or impossible, depends on your IQ, I guess. Well, you can always adjust the difficulty, but that is an instant insult to your brain power, isn't it? Also because of that, the game is really suitable for fans of the genre and not so friendly for new players. Tower of time will burn about 50 hours of your boring lifetime as you enjoy handcrafted levels and interesting story. Here you will also find thousands of pieces of loot and equipment. Avadon 3 The Warborn this is a huge old-school indie fantasy role-playing adventure where you are a hand of Avadon, warrior and spy, judge and executioner, pizza baker and stay-at-home mom. Okay, maybe not the last two, but although your titles are limited, you have unlimited power to fight the enemies of your homeland. Your word is law. However, your lands have been invaded by those who don't care about your laws. Barbarians and monsters are raping through your home and you are the only one who has a way to stop them. Here you can choose from five different character classes, each with dozens of unique spells and abilities. Explore dungeons, hunt for hundreds of magical artifacts and pass judgment on your enemies or just people you don't like, just like you don't like that asshole co-worker of yours. Tyranny. Like Pillars of Eternity, it is created by the narrative masterminds at Obsidian Entertainment. Tyranny is a classic styled RPG with an original story shaped and molded by your actions. Game looks great, but that's understandable because it's quite new. And reviews on Steam are very positive as well. You have to scroll hard to find any bad ones, as people say this game plays just like Baldur's Gate, so you probably won't be disappointed if you buy it. Although be prepared to read a lot, this is more like a book than an actual game. Pathfinder Kingmaker you will explore the Stolen Lands, a region that has been contested territory for centuries. Hundreds of kingdoms have risen and fallen in these lands, and now it's time for you to make your mark by building your own kingdom. Well, some people are trying to make their mark by writing a book, rhyming a song, creating a Pornhub account, or managing a YouTube channel, but here, a kingdom. Nobody will accuse you for being too modest. I should also mention that players are complaining about loading screens. There are a lot of them, so if you are not a patient one or your PC is a potato, you may have a bad time. Also, the game is really heavily dependent on RNG and pure luck, so sometimes your skill is just not enough for beating an opponent. I can explain what rolling one means in real life terms. Imagine, if in real life you want to smash a mosquito that is sucking your blood, you watch him getting bigger and bigger for a while, and then you take action. But instead of squishing the bloodsucker, you sneeze at the same time time, and instead of the mosquito, you hit Mike Tyson, who appeared in front of you out of nowhere. That's what rolling 1 out of 20 looks like. And that's why, judging by the comments, Pathfinder has mostly positive reviews, and not just positive or very positive. But now it's on sale, so it's automatically better. Thank you for watching, every subscriber of my channel gets plus 69 to luck this week, so be sure don't miss that chance. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yeah.